Hi everyone, so in this video I'm like super late to the party to check out the HyperGo 16208. Uh, a lot of channels already have made reviews about it, but I haven't. And with MJX advertising an upcoming 10th scale version of the OG, it's time to have a look at the OG. Have fun. And here it is. We have the not the this one, this one, exactly. It's a 116 scale 4x4 Hypergo. Here are also the other models. As we are already used to the MJX models, we have lots of metal parts, which is great. On the side is a picture of the remote. Now let's have a look inside. And here we have the manual. Please read it. So I have mentioned it in other videos. I actually like the remote of the MJX models. We have steering trim, we have throttle trim, we have 70%, 100% of power. And we also have this warning sticker about using the throttle trim when it's not needed. One-handed steering is okay with that one. It is fully proportional, of course. And more warnings. And of course, there's the battery latch. Here we have a wheelie bar, which I will not use, I guess and some tools and the charger of course and now to the car All right, now let's have a look inside. Just remove the body clips. Uh, um, yeah, where? So especially the 16208 does not have body clips. They have this latch here in the back, which is kind of interesting. You may have seen this one on other more expensive brands. And this is how it looks like under the hood. We have a plastic frame here. The tires seem all right, soft and grippy, but you can always upgrade to RCA WD ones. Power button on the side, we have a heat sink on top of here. And this is a system where we have ESC and receiver separated. A fan, a fan plus a heat sink. And this is quite a powerful motor for this size and it gets quite hot. And as you've seen before in the slow-mo, we have all your shocks, which is great. Front and back, of course. And as with most MJX models, we have super thick CVDs front and back. The battery is connected with a Dean's plug and held in place by this latch, which is very practical. Hard body battery. And of course, you can also use all of your batteries, which have a Dean's plug or T plug. The honeycomb structure, which we have seen on lots of MJX models. And full metal gearing. The chassis is made out of a sturdy plastic composite. Oh yeah, and you can adjust the tires. So here we go, power on. Car on and let's go. Power of the servo seems all right. So for now everything appears like it's supposed to be and what I expect from MJX. Well then, let's have some fun with it. As you can see, it took a few hits on and off camera, 
but all in all it seems alright. A few scratches here and there, but nothing serious. And since other channels have promoted this as super tough, I want to take it to the skate park. So everything super tough except for this part which breaks so easily. Also the plastic feels different than the rest of the other plastics. I would try to glue it but I don't have high hopes. Gotta use throttle trim otherwise the car will just go by itself. And there it goes again. Okay I, I would just go on without it now. The thing with the body latch bothers me, really. I mean, everything else about the car is great. If I would have chosen the 16209, it would be perfect. I would have body clips, but I wouldn't mind. I hope that they fix this issue with the 10208, because I'm really looking forward to a 10 scale RC by MJX. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Consider subscribing, and thank you for watching.